Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today is going to be kind of a laid back, get ready with me while I test some new drugstore, but also kind of like a life update. I have some very, very exciting news to share with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing this new drugstore, we've got some from Essence, Revlon, we've got some from Catrice, then I encourage you guys to keep on watching. So I have gone ahead with my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer as I don't have a new eyeshadow primer. I am gonna do eyes first, if you already couldn't guess that. So before I get started on eyes, I'm actually going to test the Catrice Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm. I have some other, I have a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss to test. So I thought I would apply this to start, let it sit while I do the rest of my makeup, and then I can really let you guys know if it's actually made my lips feel more hydrated. It is tinted, um, so this one's in Lychee Glaze. I have super, super dry lips right now, so this is exactly what they need. And I thought going on bare lips would be most beneficial for the actual nourishing benefits. Plus that shade is just so pretty. So this has five very hydrating, nourishing ingredients. So there's Hyaluron, Vitamin E, Shea Butter, Green Tea, and Goji Berry. It's also supposed to be volumizing, so a little juicier effect. Um, so let's just go ahead and see. It has enough color to it that it really is noticeable, but it's not like super, super pigmented either, where you can also just wear it on like a no makeup makeup day, and it's not gonna be like no makeup with bright red or pink or, purple lip. Feels very nice, like not sticky at all. It feels almost like not oily, but like kind of balmy. It gives like a, a nice balm like effect. It's not super glossy or shiny, which I kind of like. It's a little more subtle. And again, as I said, it feels nice. So we will just see what my lips feel and look like afterwards. I wouldn't say it really necessarily makes them look super plump or full, but it does have that nice like sheen to it that it will make them look a little juicier. So the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be testing is the Essence Dancing Green. It's some of the newest eyeshadow from Essence. So this is the actual palette. It's like, cool. Let's drop it and see if it breaks first. Well, she's sturdy. No cracks or anything, thank goodness. Anyways, that has a beautiful color scheme. The line had a bunch of different colors. There was like a purple, I believe a brown, there was a blue, but the green really stood out to me. It's really pretty color scheme. And I thought it would be a little different. I haven't really fallen in love with any Essence eyeshadow, so I thought I'd give this one a go because the color scheme looks really fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this. And while I do so, let's get into my exciting announcement. So my exciting announcement is, dun, 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 dun. I am actually expecting. So I am 18 weeks pregnant. I am almost halfway. We were trying, so it's very exciting. We actually find out the sex in two weeks, so I will be doing an update for you guys. Just thought if anybody watching is pregnant or if you are trying or thinking about trying, blah, blah, blah. I thought maybe it would be cool to share like, you know, my experience, my symptoms, um, everything I've been going through so that you guys can kind of get an idea or compare. I know I really like to hear from other people when about their pregnancies because sometimes there's things that happen and you know, you look it up on Google or whatever and it says it can happen, but to actually hear that somebody else is going through it can kind of be helpful and make you feel like, okay, this is normal. I do already have a son if you're a new viewer. I have a almost four year old, he'll be four in March. And I wanted to kind of have my kids a little closer together, but we didn't want to have them like too close together. We had planned to maybe start trying when my son turned two. But my son turned to March of 2020, so COVID. And then I thought, I'm gonna wait until I'm vaccinated to get pregnant. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. This has been why I've been a little less consistent and frequently uploading. It's not been the most simple, easy pregnancy. Uh, my first son, like my first child, my son, I had morning sickness with him. I never really vomited. Um, it was really just nausea constant for like the first four or five months, but I never really vomited and I don't ever remember it really affecting my life too much. Like I worked full time at the time. 
um, at a salon. And I don't really remember ever calling in sick that much. Um, so it was like, I felt sick, but it was like bearable. This one, I found out I was pregnant in the middle of October. I would have been about four weeks pregnant. Within a couple of weeks, started to feel really sick. Um, I was feeling nauseous every morning. Um, and for the first three months, it was pretty brutal. Um, and it almost felt like it kept getting worse and worse. So I didn't, I still didn't vomit too much. I'm sorry if this is like TMI, but like, sorry, this is pregnancy. You get the, you know, you get the raw and the real because there's no sugar coating pregnancy. Um, so I didn't vomit too much um, this time, but I definitely did more frequently. And I will also kind of share things I've learned that have helped me. So that's another reason why I want to share this. You know, if you are pregnant or planning or even just for when you in the future become pregnant and maybe these tips and tricks can help your experience be a little more enjoyable. For the first month, I'm pretty sure I was getting really, really sick in the morning. Like it was, it was even worse when I was taking my prenatal because I either would take it before my breakfast or I would take it after my breakfast, but still, you know, you only have your breakfast in your stomach. So one thing I recommend is, especially if you experience nausea in the morning um, or morning sickness, to take your prenatal um, at, with dinner or even at the end of the day because that's when your stomach is most full like you have you've eaten three meals in that day um, so I found that really helped it definitely limited the amount that I was vomiting I, I mean I still felt nauseous but it was much more bearable um, so that's definitely a tip I would say around three months I did notice I was feeling a little bit better but for the first three months the biggest thing I struggled with was lack of energy so I'm telling you, like, not like, okay, I'm tired, you know, I just feel like I'm dragging, like, I cannot physically do this, I can't get off the couch, I wanted to sleep all day long, and I am a stay-at-home mom, well, I do also work, but like, I am home with my son all day, so it was, it was really tough for the first few months, so then as I got to the three months, I noticed there were more and more days. I was having good days. I was feeling better. Um, you know, I was able to do a lot more. It was really rough, definitely much worse. A lot of people are telling me that I'm having a girl because of it, but I don't know. I mean, I had morning sickness with my son as well, so I don't know how completely accurate that is. But I do want a girl. So yes, I do have a preferred gender, but of course, if as long as the baby's healthy, I will be happy. I mean, I'll love it either way the same, but I have always pictured myself with a daughter. I do still have days where I'm nauseous. I do still take, I'm on a prescription for nausea medication that's safe during pregnancy. I do still have to take it every morning because mornings I do find, I, I find myself still feeling pretty nauseous. Um, so as long as I take my pill, I find that it's, it's really, um, much better. It's it's very bearable. I mean, I don't know guys like people that say pregnancy is fun I mean all the power to you, but I have not had any fun experience It is a wonderful magical like miraculous experience like it's pretty it's pretty darn cool You know to feel your baby moving inside you. It's such a beautiful thing, but like let's let's be real It's uncomfortable um, so I am definitely getting bigger, shall I show you my baby bump? Let's do it. I do find that I am showing much earlier this time, but it is my second child, so I know that's common. I mean, I'm a big eater to begin with, and I have been craving um, a lot. I don't think there's been too much very like specific in terms of cravings. Um, it's not like something like every day, or it hasn't been anything that's been consistent throughout the whole you know, pregnancy, I just find that like, for example, if like I think about Taco Bell, I need Taco Bell, like that. Like when it's like, when I think of something that sounds really appealing to me, it's like I crave it and I need it. And it's like a necessity of life. So a little pause from the pregnancy talk. I'm gonna go ahead with my 
epic ink liner i did actually really enjoy this it's not like the most fat fantastic eyeshadow i've ever tried in my life but for the price it's actually quite good it's the best i've ever tested from essence i really like the colors they're very flattering the mattes were pretty pigmented and blendable and the metallics were actually quite light reflective like the metallics aren't super like bam intense um, but again, for the money, I do think that it's worth it. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean under my eyes. Okay, so I'm going in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Okay, so the next product I have is also from Essence and it is their Good Stuff, Hello Good Stuff, sorry, um, Volume Mascara. It is also with Caring Coconut Oil. So it's supposed to be a natural mascara that has 93% natural ingredients. It's for conditioning and strengthening your lashes and adding volume. So this is the brush of the mascara. Surprisingly thin for a volumizing mascara, but I'm really excited to see what it'll do. So yeah, um, that was pretty much the majority of my symptoms so far, just the morning sickness and the exhaustion. I still have the exhaustion, but just much less intense i find as long as i get a good night's sleep i can go about my day like normal i just feel more tired whereas before it was like it doesn't matter how much sleep i get like i am dead i'm like physically deceased i do have to get though like a good at least man for me to have a good day at least 10 hours of sleep like i go to bed but between 10 and 11 and my son doesn't usually wake up until 8 8 30. So even if I go to bed at 10.30, I'm still getting 10 hours of sleep. And if I get a good 10 hours of sleep, like I can have a good day now that I'm past my first trimester, but definitely much more sleep required. It was a lot easier my first pregnancy because I didn't have a child. So if I wasn't working, I could nap whenever I needed to. Symptoms now in my second trimester, definitely more hungry cravings. I never really feel full. Now, as I said, I had a re really big appetite before my pregnancy, um, but now it's like I just want carbs and sweets all day long. And it's it's been hard to stick to eating healthier, but I just do my best. Make sure I'm, you know, eating a little more calcium as your doctor will probably tell you it's good for the baby and I take my prenatal every day. Just like trying to eat as many vegetables and protein and calcium as possible. As I'm growing, I'm also experiencing more abdominal pain. I do remember getting pains last time. I think I'm getting, you know, because I'm growing earlier, I'm feeling the pains earlier, but my abdomen is quite tender. You know, when I sit up from laying down, the, the muscles are sore, or when I shift at night, they just feel really sore. I just remember as the bigger I got, I had to sleep on my side with my son and it, I'm not a side sleeper at all. I'm not a side sleeper. I hate, I cannot sleep on my side very well. So I'm not looking forward to the time that I have to, but I do have a pregnancy pillow and it can help. It does help. But like, once you get big enough, it just, then there's just nothing that helps. <laughs> you know, you're just like, get this thing out of me. I actually also am already feeling movement, which is wild because I definitely didn't feel movement this early on with my last child. I've been feeling it for like a week now and I didn't really know if it was because it's more like fluttering, um, which is normal for the beginning of when you kind of feel movement. But now I like... I can feel tiny, tiny little kicks, which is super, super cool. So this mascara, I do like, I do. It's a little bit like stumpy at the end of my lashes. It doesn't like completely fan them out like some of my favorite ones. But if I just kind of take the excess off the ends, it actually looks 
really nice. It's it's pretty good. It is like decently volumizing. Is it the best mascara I've ever tested? No, but it's definitely nice and it's so cheap. I'm going to go ahead with my Catrice Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer, the Goodbye Pores Soft Focus Effect. I have tried this once. I got it a bit ago, but I've barely tried it and I honestly don't remember what it was like. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of share that. It has an interesting consistency. Like you can see how it kind of has that thicker kind of pore filling consistency, but it is a little bit more creamy. Let's go ahead and see. I'll do half my face and then I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's pretty smoothing. I definitely notice a significant difference. I'm going to add a tiny bit extra right here where I have really enlarged pores and just really press it in. I actually really like that. It's really kind of given that like blurring effect for sure. Really blurred like my texture overall, but definitely also minimized my pores. Ooh, I don't, I don't remember liking it this much. So far so good. I will definitely continue to test this. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup as I don't really have any new face products. And then I will link the products down below in case you're interested. So yeah, um, I think I pretty much touched base about symptoms and all that. Things are, are going well. Everything is healthy from what I've heard from my doctors. I've had my, just one ultrasound so far just to date, like a dating ultrasound as I didn't know how far along I was. Um, and that was more at the beginning of my pregnancy. So um, aside from that, I've just been seeing my family doctor and had some um, heartbeat checkups. Everything's growing. Um, measurement wise and heartbeat wise healthy so yeah no um, so far so good I do as I said get my ultrasound in a couple of weeks um, which is the anatomic ultrasound for a more in-depth you know making sure everything's healthy and good and um, that is when I will also find out the gender in terms of like tips so far um, I would just say if you don't have children or if you have, you know, help, nap when you can, sleep when you can, go to bed early, get as much sleep as possible as it really does help. And another thing, as 
much as it is easier said than done and as much as you might really not want to when you are really like lacking energy um, at least this is from what I experienced as soon as I'd get like a little bit of energy I would like take my son for a walk like I utilized that energy to do something with my son or to clean the house but I found if I would go for a walk and really get my body moving not always because some days this did not work but there were quite a few times very frequently if I just kind of you know I get a little burst of energy especially if I've just eaten and I'm not feeling nauseous and I'm, I'm feeling decent I would really push myself to ex get some exercise and get some fresh air and I found that a lot of times that actually helped me um, feel a little better but not always so don't push yourself either as I said very excited to share this pregnancy with you guys and I will keep you guys updated um, I'm gonna try to do at least one video a month till the end of pregnancy to kind of update you guys on how I'm feeling what I'm going through um, update you on the pregnancy and kind of just share things that I'm feeling and experiencing and things that I've learned yeah, I guess we will end the pregnancy segment of our get ready with me because I think that's just about everything I can say. I don't want to bore you guys with it either. What I will leave that part of this video with is if you have any uh, questions about what I've you know gone through or any questions related to pregnancy, drop them down below um, or you can also message me over social media if you ever have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them, um, but I will also kind of save them for my upcoming update videos to answer them on those videos so then that way you know if you have any questions I haven't really thought of then I can answer them there so yeah now let's finish up the testing of products a little update on the Catrice now it did wear off around I felt like it was kind of almost fully off probably from talking to um, as I started my face makeup but it felt very nourishing. I mean, my lips don't feel drastically miraculously healed and smooth. Um, but I mean, this kind of product you'd need to use frequently anyways for it to really make an effect. So I will continue to test it. It felt nice. It looked nice. So, so far so good. It is relatively cheap. So I will definitely continue to use it and update you guys if I, you know, find that I absolutely love or hate it. Like if it's something worth mentioning i will definitely keep you guys updated in a future video um so let's go ahead and do the lips the next product i'm testing is the essence soft and precise lip pencil i got it in the shade my choice which is a nice like pinky nude it is a wooden pencil as well and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and see how this one does good like it's it's showing up it glide especially once I got going and kind of got it started it did glide pretty easily it's pigmented as pigmented as it's showing up upon swatch um, so yeah I mean I mean I have no complaints so far I will have to see how it wears now we have the Revlon um, super lustrous matte lipstick it's supposed to be comfortable light and creamy no annoying draggy drying or heavy feeling it's supposed to just be a smooth matte lipstick in one swipe with a velvety lip color that always feels good on your lips it's the shade untold stories which actually matches really nicely with that lip liner that i didn't even do on purpose so i'm excited let's just go ahead and see i like that it feels very like Kind of that blurring soft focus effect like velvety is the word velvety feel um it doesn't look heavy or chunky and it has a nice matte finish and it does look like it would be very smoothing to the lips if my lips weren't so like cracked um so i really really like that now last but not least we have the essence what the fake plumping lip filler gloss it has hyaluronic acid vitamin e and it's supposed to give you an instant plumping effect and hydrated visibly fuller lips cooling tingling effect so it comes in one shade this is their new plumping lip gloss okay wait here's the before 
so that after we can see. Oh yeah, that's tingling for sure. It looks nice, like it's a nice gloss for sure. What do you guys think? Do my lips look plumper? I don't think it's necessarily like intensely plumping. Like my lips don't look like I have lip filler in them, but it is nice and glossy and i do feel like it highlights the lips really nicely and does make them look nice and juicy and it has that kind of tingling effect even just looking at it as a gloss it looks really pretty i would definitely wear it again even if it doesn't plump because it's a nice like clear gloss that makes your lips look nice and juicy so that is everything i'm testing today hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy give me a thumbs up down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.